Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975. Welcome to the Wednesday vlog. Welcome to the ticking room. The hat seems um, kind of appropriate. Now you've read the title. Yeah, <clears throat> interesting couple of days. Uh, I ordered. Right. Yeah, I know there's a you know there's a ton of videos out there right now of people with the uh, the Sony you know VR for the PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, this is this is nothing to do with that. This is just you know awkward timing. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about literally my first home experience um, of virtual reality, albeit budget fashion. Let's get my phone. Might probably, well, might probably will need that. Now, um, VR to me has always, always fascinated me. I, I think, uh, you know, your first experience of VR was obviously, you know, not wearing it. It was, um, oh, I'm looking at the telly when I say this. It was like on TV programs and stuff like that, sci-fi programs where people were inside this computer, you know, and as a kid that drew you in and always, always fascinated me. <clears throat> the fact that you could you could simulate or so emulate anywhere on the planet, anywhere in space, uh, stuff that's not even real, and experience it as if you um, you were actually there. And then it started. You know, people were working on it for years and years and years, and then it started to become a reality. <clears throat> Sorry, breakfast again. I really got to stop doing that. Aspartame will fix all. Back on the Pepsi Max. Uh, a crude one, albeit, but I think for people of my age and my generation, our first true experience. Of you know virtual reality, well at least virtual reality in sort of um, video games was in the arcades. There were a couple of games I forget them. There was a, f uh, a jet fighter game where you sat down, wore well, big bulky helmet. There was another one called was it Dactyl Nightmare where you were basically on foot and had to and you were kind of standing in a small little ring, <clears throat> I guess to stop you falling off and twatting yourself and you had to shoot with a gun or something. Um, I got to see the jet one. I saw it in an arcade in Western years and years and years ago when I was a kid, and I was just like, "Holy!" I forget how much it was. It was, it was, it was a fucking fortune. But that was my first true experience of virtual reality. And I remember sitting on it, and it was, it was weird because you had the headset, but people could see a screen. At least in this one, you could. And I remember it was weird because um, my brother was giving me directions, and I was just going like this, you know. And it, it was all right. It was all right, but obviously technology wasn't good enough. Uh, for it to deliver, you know, what we wanted, what we, you know, were sort of raised on or teased with on TV, I should say. So, you know, the frame rate was choppy, it gave you motion sickness. Um, but that said, you know, that, that was when that, you know, that, that love, that, that little injection of, you know, wanting, you know, one day, will we be able to have this? Will it be absolutely perfect? Will it be like, you know, better than life in um, <clears throat> uh, Red Wolf, you know? completely perfectly simulate life well not perfectly but you know what I mean but hey you're a kid and you think about that and then as the years have gone by you know systems have come out and they've been really really expensive obviously the um the Oculus came out uh, uh what's the other one I forget the other one and you know right now the, it was, the, then there was the Samsung one that's the direction I'm going in, by the way um then obviously the, the the PlayStation VR now I don't really want it was weird because I, I'm fascinated with it. I'm fascinated with the concept of it putting you somewhere else, not necessarily playing a game in it, if that makes sense. So I didn't really want any of those because the price was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I mean I've mean, i seen a few videos on the, the PlayStation 4 one, it looks absolutely epic, but I've had to buy a PlayStation 4 and that. <clears throat> That's the sort of money that I consider in my world, you know, new, albeit second-hand car money. I could not justify it on that. But yeah, I really, really wanted to experience it. And then the Samsung Wave was, you know, I don't want that phone, that's too expensive. Uh, and the headset, well, only a hundred pounds. But again, do you know what, for something that I may not, you know, like or enjoy or just, you know, get the bug out of my system, you know, uh, the curiosity element and never use again. I thought, is there a way? And then, uh, I came to this really late. I was watching videos on YouTube and <clears throat> BBC Breakfast did one on this new thing where, um, the, well, a new thing, a piece of cardboard that you would hold up to your eyes and they had a bunch of videos, you know, that you could use it and you could experience the studio by looking around like that, holding a phone 
uh, a mobile phone to this, and I and I didn't know that existed. I thought you had to have like a <clears throat> basically the Samsung headset if you're doing it on a phone and a Samsung phone, not you know the other things that you see like you know the Oculus and stuff like that, because that's way 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 out of my league. As I said, <clears throat> I will kill this cheese and bacon sandwich. So after watching that video, then watching a few more videos, I didn't realise that. There were companies that made, you know, a bunch of headsets going up in price, but there were entry-level headsets, and you didn't need a specific phone. That's why I uh, I became really, really attracted to it. Was you just needed a phone that had um, the um, the geo I forget what the geo, geo, geo sensors, you know, basically the um, <coughs> gyro sensors, the gyroscopes, you know, uh, because normal phones, um, smartphones, have, what was it four, which is up, down, and left and right. Don't, you know, I could be wrong. There, by all means, correct me. But you need one that has, you know, six, uh, and then you can use these things. I didn't know that. I thought it was a reserve of really, really, really expensive phones. So I thought, and there was an app you download. <clears throat> if I remember what it's called, I'll stick it in the doolicky. Doolicky? That's a new one. Doolicky down below, where you could check to see if your phone had the required sensors. Simply download it off the App Store, and then just click a button. It would either say yeah or no, and if it said no, then, well, you could use it for other things that we'll get to, but you couldn't use it for the VR. Um, element, which is what <clears throat> I always wanted. Now I have one of those. I forget the name because it's a Samsung phone that's rebranded um, simply a Vodafone phone, and uh, the, the box is upstairs. And I bought it a year ago, so I can't even remember what it is because it doesn't tell in the operating system. But I, I, I just thought, you know, it's got a nice, decent screen. It's got the five-inch screen, which is what you need basically. And I thought, you know, would it do it? Can it do it? Do it can I actually just dabble with this and see if it's cool? And you don't have to drop a, you know, a long on it or anything like that. So yeah, I checked it out and it, it turned out it was fine. And I thought, hang on a minute, this, all right, granted, this is a phone that tries to emulate all the functions of higher end phones at an affordable price. So this is like, I don't know, an 80, 90, maybe a hundred pound phone. I mean, I bought it with loads of discounts. But so I was quite surprised that, you know, I could do it. <clears throat> so then I jumped on and thought, let's let's get a headset. Just something cheap, because now I know that they most of them work, you know, with varying degrees of quality, you get what you pay for. Um, I got to give it a go. So I ordered this. Sunday morning, it's uh, all key, and that's it. Um, the instructions were out there. The instructions are like that. I've got amazing eyesight, but even I had to use a magnifying glass. Yeah, and it was um, it was ten pounds. So you expected it to be complete cheap tax and horseshit, and it's by no means you know <clears throat> absolutely made out of granite and stuff like that. But it's it's reasonable. I'm quite impressed it for a tenner off Amazon. Um, it's uh, I ordered it Sunday morning, and it came Tuesday morning. And, uh, and for once, the uh, delivery person, like seven o'clock, the delivery person wasn't a twat. And because it was raining, they left it on the floor, tanking it down, left it on the floor and flipped our recycle can box and put it on the top. Points there. Um, so yeah, I got it, I played with it for a bit. And uh, yeah, just, you know, like adjusting the strap and stuff. I'm not gonna put it on because I've got work hair under this. And I was really, really surprised at it. I, I don't know why, because um, obviously, dependent upon the phone you use, it's going to be how good it is and stuff like that. But ever since I, like I said, I found that random YouTube video of BBC explaining it, I don't know, I just thought, like, I wasn't expecting it to be any good at all. And as I said, there are better ways to do VR than this. There's better ways to do it with a phone. But I just, I just wanted to see if it could work. So I got the headset. Like I said, it's, it's moderately solid. Got your adjusters for the lenses there. There's the lenses, by the way. They're actually quite good. That's what lets you watch movies and does it, basically, to some degree. Um, you got your focus up there, and then you got this on the front. Maybe we can get it open, which is quite nice, which is where you stick the phone. And I don't know, can you see that? It's all little sucker cups. And I mean, when you stick it on there, your phone is on there. Uh, it's got gaps at the side, because, I mean, I don't know, I, can you, I'd have to get like a Bluetooth, um, <clears throat> control pad or something if I want to play games, but there are games you can play and you know at this price just to see what it was like uh, You can do stuff, you know with it That doesn't require you know playing games. It's so I was really really quite surprised You know I've watched movies and this and everything But yeah, so you can put your power in it if you want and you can have your headphones coming out because there are no headphones on this I guess that's how they kept the price down. Uh, it's, it's quite plushy. Oh, yeah, it's adjustable uh, it's, it's got a nice plush fake leather that's you know makes it quite comfortable. Uh, I think it might be a face size issue, you know, whether you find it hard on the bridge of your nose and stuff like that. And it vents really well. That's one thing I saw about all these cheap ones, it condensates like a bastard. Mine was fine, so yeah, I pop my phone and you just do it like that. You got to take your case off, which is a bit annoying. And generally, what I do to line it up is you, if you find one of the 3D YouTube videos where the screen is split because you've got two images, one for each eye lens, and then you line it up. 
with this as you stick it in that uh, to get you know to get the best image. I'm not going to turn on because there's no way you'll see it. And I can't even exploit it. And then you pop it shut, obviously with it on. And so yeah, so I downloaded. Uh, well, the first thing I did was I went to these videos. There's loads of videos on YouTube. They're called um, 360 videos. And I, I, I've had the technology explained to me, but you see it if you just look at it on the computer straight ahead, and you, you can move around on a smartphone if you haven't got. You know, not with your head, obviously, with your finger. If you haven't got, you know, the uh, the extra axis, so you can see it. But you can see like the whole studio or the whole world around it. And it was, I was like, holy shit, that's actually really impressive. So I watched the BBC one. And I'm looking around like this, and I even know it's just a YouTube video. And it was the, the, considering this is like a really cheap headset. The lenses really do seem to work well. I didn't get a headache. I didn't get motion sickness. But it was really, really unique. It was like I've been waiting for this since I was a bloody kid. Look at me getting all excited. So looking around, I'm like, there's the bird who does the weather and the business. I like there's a cameraman over there so then I got going through more and more of these videos and then these are the roller coaster one which was absolutely fantastic I mean the roller coaster apps even better but this was just me you know I guess my baby steps learning to walk with this but, but, but even on that though I did notice like I was looking up like this and like oh this is cool because this fits so well there is and it, the screen is so big um, <clears throat> uh, there was a, a ratio they used to explain it there, there was no outside world creeping in uh, and so I looked up like that and I looked down as it was going down and I did it for a moment I had that kind of little bit ooh, I wouldn't say nausea. So I watched a load of these videos. There was a horror one, which was absolutely fantastic. So then I jumped to the app store and started uh, finding apps. And that's when I started playing with some of the games. There are games where you, yeah, it's a bit weak. It's like Burnout, where you um, you tilt your head like that because uh, you haven't got the turnies, but your tilt will work. And you can steer a, a car in first person mode. It was quite good. The sense of speed, because it was in front of your face, was absolutely absolutely amazing uh, and then there was uh, you know things like this cave explorer and stuff like that and that was weird I didn't give a shit about what was going on as I said it was this I finally got what I wanted as a kid you know I have no doubt it's not as good as the other ones but for a mobile phone I mean who would have thought if you told me as a kid one day you're a little thing in your pocket this big and it's going to give you that virtual reality thing you've always wanted from Blake 7 and shit I would have said fuck off that's brilliant where's my flying car and the hover boots <clears throat> and hoverboard um, an anti-grab boots, I should say. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm walking through this cave and I'm just, I'm just looking around like this, and it was, it was really like I, I felt, you know, I don't know. Your brain knows you're not there, and you're not. But I did feel detached from reality. If that makes sense. I am going around like this. And, oh, I can look behind me. That, that's really weird. That is a weird sensation. Uh, to all you people who've done this for ages, I'm probably just babbling like a fool. To those of you who haven't, who are wondering if it's worth, you know, just doing it. Go cheap like I did. Go cheap if your phone can do it. You might be really surprised at, you know, the fun you can have with it. Maybe I'll get bored with it, but, you know, everyone's got a phone, you know, to some degree. And so what's an initial, um, you know, outlay on a piece, oh, piece of kit like this, you know, if, if you get bored of it. But yeah, so I, I played loads of these games and I was, I was having fun. The roller coaster one in this was absolutely... Um, amazing. The virtual um, reality cinema was weird. Uh, you can watch movies, but we'll get to that. There's something different that doesn't require having a phone, which I guess you could argue makes this worthwhile to some degree to those who don't have the six access thing going on. But you know, this is a virtual reality cinema where you're in like a chair somewhat back, and there's exits either side like this, and there's a screen in front of you, and you can move around. And it, it, I mean, it's not interactive itself, but it, it kind of replicates a cinema. It's a, it's a gimmick, I know, but I enjoyed it because you, you um, download a movie and then you stick it in a file folder within the app uh, called videos ironically um, and then you stick it in there and then you play it and basically that's the only thing with this phone because it, um, I haven't got like controls or anything this headset you have to open it it's no biggie you open it press play oh shut just making sure I didn't crack my screen shut it uh, but yeah and then you're watching it and it's weird so you're looking around and there's like seats here exits here you can look behind you and then there's your movie but as you're moving around like that obviously the, the way the image moves reflects the fact that you're in a room looking around. I really, really enjoyed that. I watched the whole movie like that. And like I said, it reeks of a gimmick. What time are we on here? Ooh, shit, I'll hurry up. This camera's fucked. You didn't need to know that. Reeks of a gimmick, but it was really, 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 really fun. And so, if anyone who does this on their phone knows of good apps you know, in the, um, the, the Play Store, uh, or games as such so that I can play without you know uh, controls and that like that all the controls or the way it works is just based on your phone and it's you know sensors let me know let me know because like I said I'm having a massive amount of fun it, it, you know it may be cheap maybe compared to other phones out there I'm not getting any even a good experience to what they're getting but I just I finally got what I wanted as a kid it was epic you know it was just like I'm in the room 
but I'm in someone else's room. This, I, honestly, it was fantastic. And then the bit that I, I, I really, really like that you don't need, uh, you know, the, the centers on the phone for that I really enjoyed was on YouTube. And there's an app that finds you um, videos for this as well. There's a whole bunch. So whether it's true 3D or not, I don't know, because obviously is it stereoscopic is what they do to do 3D. And um, with the lenses, you know, are they, did they do something, there's, you see what I mean, if you, if you just type in 3D YouTube video, you'll get an image, and then there's a line down the middle, and you've got two um, versions of the same image. Now, whether one runs slightly slower, or faster, or whatever, or is move something, because the way 3D works is, your eyes see different images, don't they? And then, um, it brings them together. Look it up, type in how 3D works. Uh, I used to know this as a kid, because I was obsessed with it. <clears throat> And um, yeah, so there's whole, whole movies and movie trailers up there like that. And yeah, you did just like proper ones. And again, I don't know if it was 3D, but I was watching an underwater exploration thing with sharks and I couldn't quite put my finger on it, um, but it was fantastic. And also the image quality was really, really good. I was expecting the lenses, it to be pants, but I sat there and watched a whole hour and a half, you know, documentary or in underwater explorer thing. I really, really enjoyed it. The image was fantastic my eyes are moving around like this obviously it's not moving because it's not VR but because of that it gave the impression that I was sat in a room with a fuck off big screen now if someone who um, uh, owns uh, well I've got a 32 inch TV in, in my bedroom and I've got a 19 inch um, in my uh, gaming room because that's what I use for capturing videos and I'll never get rid of it because it's perfect for that it's touch wood I shouldn't have said that out loud but neither is absolutely huge and this honestly felt when I was watching it that I was again this is the phone not the headset the headset just makes it you know accessible more well, affordable I guess uh, and yeah it really did feel like I was in front of a really big screen because the, the way my phone was set up and it was it went you know it went for the full lenses there was no light there was no gaps uh, there was one thing I will say if you've got the stuff like the Facebook app or things like that or the YouTube app Turn them off because that's the bit that brings reality in it Well, all of a sudden a message pops up and it happened and I got a power warning message and a Weird that was weird, but yeah, it felt like I was watching a big big screen and I was quite I was really expecting for a budget set budget lenses to come out with a god come out I'm talking like I was in a fucking theater um, with a god awful headache and you know like pressure um, behind my eyes, but no, it was brilliant. And there's loads of these up there space travel, exploring the galaxy. And I really, really, really enjoyed that. So, I mean, you can almost argue that if you want a cheap way again to 3D and you don't have a telly or don't want to have to buy a telly, again, people by all means correct me. I just know, I don't know, it felt kind of cool to me. Then th this is cool, this is really cool. But the bottom line is, I just have to say, I've always wanted to be able to, I don't know, just leave the moment. And, you know, whether this is good as any of the stuff out there, it, it's given me that. I, I generally, you know, very, very pleased with it. That it's, it's, and it is really actually quite comfortable, by the way. It may not look it, it may look like a fucking bondage gimp mask, but no, it really is quite comfortable. It's not even that heavy, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm really quite impressed with it. And, uh, just the watching movies alone was, you know, kind of cool. Uh, especially, uh, the um, upstairs, I got a fucking shit up pair of earbuds, like really good. And that, 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 you know, the surround sound in that was just absolutely fantastic. It, it really was, you know, a nice experience. But as I said, the VR was really, really where it was. I don't know why I was a snob. I don't know why I didn't think uh, it, it would work, but it just, it's, if you've never done it and you've always wanted to, like myself, just that first time, I'm sure I had a childish grin on my face, that first time, and you, you put it on, you just, this isn't going to work. Floor, ceiling, hello you over there. It, it was, it was absolutely wild. I, I cannot tell you. Like I said, if you're on the fence with VR, fine, but if you've got a phone that can do it, I think the screen size on most of these is 4.7 inches to 5. Uh, mine's, mine's five, the phone. See what I did there? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's worth it, honestly, because if you've got the phone, you got the phone. So I wouldn't go the, well, I guess you could go the cardboard route. Can you even order them anymore? I, uh, I just, was it a Google thing or a BBC thing? I don't know. I, I generally, I'm waffling, babbling right now, but I'm just saying, yeah, I'm generally quite impressed with this. It's such a piece, uh, a cheap piece of kit. And the fact that I don't know why I thought a regular phone wouldn't do it, why it had to be, you know, the preserve of really, really expensive phones. But yeah, it was, it, you know, it's a it's a fun niche experience. If you if you've always wanted to see you know that day you would come when you can have VR at home, you know obviously we've got it now. But you know what I mean. I'm talking to people in my generation, I guess. Um, yeah, 
it, it, it really does work. It really is a kind of cool, you know, thing. I, I'm going to possibly look towards getting some control set up so I can play some of the other games. But for right, for right now, I'm perfectly happy with what it does. And I, honestly, uh, look, I'm, 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 I'm talking bollocks now. Yeah, I just... I, I would recommend it. And um, yeah, and also I'd like to know what are your experiences uh, with it? Do you have an Oculus? I mean, have you tried the phone one? Have you tried a low end one like I have? Or have you got, you know, the shiny Samsung um, um, headset? Or, you know, even the, the, the PlayStation <clears throat> uh, VR? Or do you think just VR is still one big gimmick? It's going to be, you know, sort of the new 3D, and then at some point it's just going to settle down and just be, you know, no biggie. But, you know, thoughts, all thoughts on all aspects of VR, I would. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.